Hello and welcome back to the program. I am once again your host Joe and uh well, last time we played Dragon Force, but it's Halloween. I want to do something a little different. So we're going to do uh something spooky. It's Super Ghouls and Ghosts. I have never played this game before, just so we are aware. Let's have a look at our options. Jump shot A, Y. Okay. Alright, I can work with that. We'll try it on normal difficulty. Let's see how much this game kicks my ass. Here I am, Arthur the Knight. Zooming in, something spooky's gonna happen. What could it be? What's coming our way? Isn't that guy in Marvel 2? God, the music. So as stated previously, I have never played this game before. But I... don't imagine anybody hasn't heard this music. so catchy. Like, if, if you were at all into the uh, OC Remix scene back in the day, does that site still exist? Is OC Remixes still a thing? Oh, and I'm dead. Let's try this again. I'm pretty sure I heard, um... Didn't the mini-bosses play this theme song, too? I just prattle off a list of... Like, this is the thing, is that this is such an iconic soundtrack that I'm like... I could list off basically any band that played video game music back in the day. Oh, come on. Is money even useful for anything in this? Oh! That treasure chest contained an enemy! I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the mini-bosses played did like a whole Super Ghouls and Ghosts medley. So, like, you know the game is influential in its soundtrack when you devote a whole fucking medley to it. But at the same time, um... Oh, come on. I hit jump a second time. There's so much going on here. There was a suit of armor that I couldn't reach because the enemy died inside a pillar.
still, considering I have never played the game before, I think I'm doing okay? We'll call that a practice round. God, doing okay. I didn't make it past the first, like, half of the first level. I don't know if the money serves an actual purpose. Like, I've seen regular ghouls and ghosts being played. Yeah, I've seen regular ghouls and ghosts being played, and I don't know that I ever actually saw the money used for anything. Okay, the torch seems a little bit not good because of the whole arc thing. Like, the lance will attack what's in front of you. Like, as, as interesting as the whole, you know, trail of hit effects is, I'm, again, not sure how useful it is. Yeah, I'll take the knife. No, I don't want to go back in. This game is just fucking with me at this point. But I do get the impression that that's the whole deal with Super Ghouls and Ghosts. Is that the game really fucks with you. Like, if I just go ahead and jump straight over this, I will have nowhere to land but on top of one of these zombies. You have an item. Please, come out. You can't... This game. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna go down to easy mode. Because I'm clearly bad at this. I mean, beginner is not a lie. I have literally just started playing this game for the first time now. Oh, the torches. Ugh. Hopefully the difference that they make is not quite so great in beginner mode. Like, I feel as though they shouldn't be able to hit me when they're still coming out of the casket, right?
Okay. This looked powerful at first, but in retrospect, I do not like it. This is a really bad weapon, holy crap! Okay. Alright. Okay. Just kind of no warning on that one. Is that, am, I, am I all the way back at the start? I'm all the way back at the start. And I still have this piece of crap. Like, is that an- uh, no, that's not another life, I don't think. Like, okay, so that last item I had there, the, uh, it looked like a little sickle I threw. Um... I could only have one of those on screen at a time. I was ducking. Whereas with the knife here, I can have a bunch on screen. Like, look at how fast I can throw those. That's not fair at all. Yeah, no, that doesn't do anything for me. Like, between the money and those things? Are there just a bunch of power-ups in this game that don't actually give you power-up? Shit just flying at me from every direction. Wait, is, is money continues? Money appears to be continues, maybe? But the little dude icons you pick up? What was I supposed to do there? Yeah, the little dude icons are just points! What do you do with points? Like, actual question, what use are these points? I can't even dodge it. The, the jump is, like, low gravity. I went into this thinking, what's a good Halloween game to play? What's something that's kind of festive? Yeah, I'll take it. The bow and arrow isn't bad. 
It'll be useful for this guy. No, please, die slower. Yeah, I was thinking, like, what's a good Halloween game to play? And in the interest of ease of access, I wound up going with this. Well, I could have been playing uh, equally as difficult, but much sillier monster party. Oh, hey! Finally some armor! The armor upgrade, I think, just made my bow a little worse. Worse in the sense that I can't spam it now. Uh, I will still keep it. Ooh. See, where were all these armor power-ups before? Okay, now I know this bullshit. But I can't get onto the pillar. And it's a one-hit kill. This game is needlessly cruel sometimes. Okay. Yeah, I could have been playing Monster Party. We'll put it that way. You know what? The lances are fine. I am A-OK -okay with the lances. They go straight they go in a straight line, I can sorta of spam them a little bit, and they do pretty decent damage. I'm okay with this. I'm not okay with this screen spam. Is the goal of the game just kill everything? I guess it is. Alright, one more go. We'll see if I can get past the first level. Like, folks, clear a path. I need to get through. Friggin' zombies. Everywhere zombies. Go to dodge the fireball, and there's a zombie right there. And I turned this difficulty down. They're just everywhere. 
Back where we started, I guess. Got that lance back at the start of the level. It's like nothing changed except I lost a life. I'm sorry, even when I have an upgraded armor hit, it's not... The armor goes away in a single hit, even if it's upgraded? Not a lot I could do there. Stand by. Okay, we're back. So, my... I'm playing this on the Switch. Just for ease of doing shit, I was like, alright. There's a Halloween-y game on the Switch. I know this isn't strictly a Halloween game, but it's got monsters and shit. It's, it's horror enough that it counts. Um, and my Switch... Is uh, kind of plugged into one of those. Um... Beautiful. My switch is plugged into a uh, a power bar that uh, will turn off if it doesn't have you know uh, if it doesn't detect detect use. It's a uh, it's a power saving uh, thing. You know it's um it's good, but. It also has this option where it just will turn off after X amount of time. Uh, and there's a sensor. And I'm dead. There's a sensor on the top that, you know, picks up infrared signals. So if you're using the TV remote with it, then it'll pick that up. Um, and if I'm using the switch, then clearly I'm not sending infrared signals like I would with the TV. So I had to get up to push the button on top of it, because there was a button. I didn't bring the control over with me. Uh, that's certainly long enough for an episode. Let's see how much y'all enjoy watching me die repeatedly, because wow, I did real bad. Maybe next year, I'll do Monster Party instead. <laughs> we'll see. Thank you for tuning in. I am once again your host, Joe, and uh, see you next time. <laughs>